Well, hello, 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 my mad scrappers. I am back with the mail call. I have got, well, these two that you see here, they're small packages, and I got a big box from Anna Griffin right behind me from, finally, I got my order from Create 8. There was a, uh, excuse me, Create 9, or Create whatever it was. Um, there was a huge snafu with the, the website, I think, just about crashed, um, or I think it actually did crash <coughs> when we all admit to make our orders. And they just they just shut it down, shut the website down, shut out shut down for Create Nine, and then recreated it. And finally, I got my order in, and I got all my stuff, and it just arrived. I've gotten everything. There was only one item that sold out on me, and I'm still I have to communicate with them because one of the things I did sign up for was I wanted to sign up for Create Crop at Home for next year. And when I they, it was one of the items not offered when the website came back up and I go, well, wait a minute, how can it not be offered for those of us who wanted to do it? Because I can actually prove that it was in my cart. So I'm going to email them again with a screenshot of that and we'll see what happens because it, for those of us who did the event, we're getting a cheaper price and I want to get that. So I'll keep you posted on that. Vanna Griffin is pretty good for um, their customer service. I've had a little back and forth on this one, but I think we're there, okay? But anyway, meanwhile, I'm going to... So I have a big box behind me of everything else, Anna Griffin. But let's just dive right into this package. This is something probably from my uh, last purchase from Simon Says. I have no idea. So this is probably still left over Black Friday. But let's take a look at what came in here. And it is. I guess it is. Is this... Okay, this is... The, a stamp set. There we go. And apparently I did order it. I don't remember, but it is very, very... Let me see what this is. Oh, no! That's why I don't remember ordering it. Look how cool! So it says, thank you so much for your recent order. You qualified for our free exclusive Simon Says Stamp Trim a Tag Clear Stamp Set. We had a technical glitch in our system and it did not automatically add to your order, so we're sending it along in this separate package. We hope you enjoy the complimentary stamp set and use it to make tons of handmade tags for your friends and, and family this holiday season. That is so awesome. See, customer service is customer service, people, but look how cute this is. It is, that's why I don't remember, but oh my gosh, these are make really stinking adorable tags. I really like it. So go, Simon. Let's see if we make something with, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm excited. So there we go. So, oh my gosh, woohoo. And this is also, this is Paper Wizard. This is some of the orders, some from the orders I made from their shop at home event the, that I did that has been kind of coming in fits and starts. And there was, I think, one more item. I'm hoping it's still in stock that I can order it. So I've got to backtrack on my videos and find the drop down. But... I've got this. This was just paper or one of the kits that was offered, right? This is the Doodlebug Gingerbread Kisses Bundle with exclusive Paper Wizard title. So the only way you got the title was to order the Doodlebug. And I love Doodlebug. And, of course, this is, they've send, been sending this flyer out with every order, the tickets for their road shows, guys. I'm planning, if anybody's in my neck of the woods, I am planning on hit, doing the Ontario one in August. Right now, already Sacramento is sold out in February. Well, I guess I can't go to that one. I could go to that one, but I can't go to that one because it's sold out. Um, Chicago is out, so Orlando is out for me. That's a bit, four seats left. So, guys, by the time, you know, I doubt it. So, that is um, that. But go to their site. They're, they're really, really cool. But I plan on attending August. As soon as it goes on sale, I'm going to get tickets. Okay, so what we have here now is the paper, the kit for the, the, oh my lord, lordy, the doodle bug, and it is gingerbread kisses. It's probably, it's their this year's holiday, and I love doodle bug. I haven't bought doodle bug in a while because I'm really trying not to buy paper. Um, I am not being successful in that endeavor, needless to say, but I'm trying, you know. You, you, can, you can only do that. All right, so I'm going to pull that out of this back so you can see all the goody gumaflachi. So we got... Um, so there's two of them. There is this, um, title, which is Baking Christmas Memories, which is gonna be great because I'm gonna be making, I want to be making some brownies this weekend to take over to the nursing staff. I haven't gotten around to getting it, so I have to go get brownie mix. And I want to make them and take them to the, the, the nursing, the day shift and the night shift who took such good care of me and takes care of everyone when I was in the hospital. You know, we have to show our appreciation to them. And then this one says... Happiness is homemade. Uh, isn't that cute? 
because I'm going to harness the kids and we're going to do it together. So you got those two that we only were able to get because we were part of the event and we ordered this kit. So we have the papers. We have, let me pull out the papers. I mean, obviously I got also the little pad that was part of the bundle was a six by six pad, but let's look at the big papers first and then we'll come back and look at the little goodie jobbers. So as you can get, there is no waste with Doodlebug. It, it, it's just adorable and more adorable. Those are, those are the options with their paper. So let's take this out of the way. Wah! And oh my gosh, see, look how cute that is, guys. I love Doodlebug. I, I try to give it a wide berth because otherwise I'd own every, every one, all their lines. It would be crazy. They would love me, but I would be crazy. And look, but, but this was so, so cute. And this is the paper that's being used in the um, advent calendar that I'm making for the kids. So I, that we're all going to work on. Oh, but look at that. This paper is, I just love their colors. It's so whimsical. I, I mean, who doesn't love doodle bugs? If you don't, there's something wrong with you. That's just it. That's, that's my mad, the mad, the mad scrapper's perception. But we have this little, little rainbow. I mean, look at the little Christmas lights. And they're not like, no, but they're little chubby lights. I like them. They're chubby. And then we have on this side just these lovely little cut aparts that we can use to do a page or a card. I mean, I, this is for sure page um, elements. And polka dots, even if they are pink, we won't forget. We won't, but oh, look. And see, here's the sheet to make your own advent calendar. I have the box and everything. So I have the whole enchilada for that. But look at that. Look how cute that is with the pink background and the little Santas and the reeds and the candy canes and the snowflakes and oh my. And then uh, confetti, I, the, the, all in those lovely colors it matches. And then we've got a diagonal stripe that is so cute. And what do we have on this side? Oh, and here are three by fours. Look at how cute they are. I love it. The little Santas, look at that warm wishes. That is so cute. I love it. And then we have a, a, a their whimsical take on a poinsettia. And I love it. Just so, so kitschy. So cute. What do we got on the back side? And we have little pink hearts on the back side. And then we have more cut aparts here. Oh my goodness. And I love that merry and bright. That is so stinking adorable. Look at baking spirits bright. Absolutely perfect. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Too cute. Just way adorable. And what is the back that we're not going to use? Okay, I can live with that because there is no way we're not going to be using these pieces. And look at that. All the candy gumdrops and peppermint sticks probably. Um, oh my God. I mean, just, just total, total cuteness. And then that really pretty teal snowflake, but we're still going to use the front. There's just no way. And then more, even more, even more card of parts. I love that. It's cocoa season. It is. We were talking about, I think we're going to take Friday. We're going to take the kids over to um, what we call Brea Lights. And it's a neighborhood that just goes insane with their Christmas lights. And we were, and Natasha, were talking about making cocoa and taking it with us, you know, putting them in little, you know, those keep hot cups and drinking cocoa and walking through the neighborhood. And that's the backside of these. So it's so, cute. but these are so cute, but that's the evil plan. I think for Friday is we're going to go see Christmas lights. Um, here's a little Santa heads. I love that background. And, oh, this is pretty too, but this, I, it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, you can't make up your mind. And then a sticker sheet which we know we have all these little extra stickers. So, so cute and little, just a little extra sayings. May your days be merry and bright. You can use that for a card. Perfect with some of the background papers. And then they're always doodle pops. So look at these doodle pops. We got the little gingerbread house with the, the little peppermint sticks and little cupcakes. Oh my gosh. Oh Lord have mercy. Look at that. The, the the little candy like a um candy jar or a cookie jar with the little gingerbread and the tea the tree and little look at that and oh my god and then we have shape sprinkles so cute gumdrops and the peppermint sticks and then just these little dots and the little hearts so adorable oh no wait there's more the last of the shape sprinkles so we have these are all little peppermint candies in different colors or flavors uh, see whichever we want to think about it but that is this part of the kit from, this is from Paper Wizard, and they had it all bundled. It might very well be still available, and it is. I will try to link you down below to it if you're at all interested. Because the only way you're going to get those titles is if you buy it as part of the bundle. So I will take a peeky weeky. In fact, I'm not going to, you know what, guys, give me a second. So let me clear this up, and then I'll open up the Anna Griffin box 
that I have. And we'll start cracking it because it is a big, huge box. There's no way of getting it under this. It's right behind me on the floor. So give me a second. I will be right back. Hey, right, kids, I'm back. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of the boxes that are inside the boxes. And this one's a heavy one. So what is this? Oh, okay. This is the Shimmer Red and Green Cards and Envelopes. So those of us that participated, there was a special sale they did for those of us that participated in Create um, or, or Create 9. So we got some really good deals. And this is one of the things I picked up because I'm going to I'm thinking of doing a really Anna Griffin cards for Christmas this year because I have several Christmas card kits. Why can I never figure out how to open these blessed boxes? Um, so I need to use some of this stuff up and for another reason so I can create space from other stuff. So I'm not kidding you. I have at least three boxes that I bought from years back and I really want to get them used. Okay, we're going to stop struggling and, tr and attempt to not slice our fingers off with the scissors. There we go. Oh my gosh, what a difference. It's like I love that tool, but sometimes it not having a sharp end. It's a hindrance. Okay, but now it'll come in handy. There we go. But I want to use this. I thought these would be really great card backs. So let's... Oosh, yeah. All right. Toss, fly, my pretty fly. I've got this open, but they're just basically card, card bases and matching envelopes in a shimmer. They were, and I forget how much they were, but it is only available to those of us who did it. So it's not, I can, I mean, I'm sure you can find it on the website. And if I can find it on a regular website, I will link it so you can get it. But to do otherwise would be not fair. So this is especially, you know, to the rest of us that participate, everybody else that participated. But look at these. They are just, I mean, I mean I'm going to pull one out just about, see, it is pure shimmer inside and out, all sides and base, in your basic holiday colors. Okay, we're going to put it this back this way so that I can scooch it back in. There we go. So it, we've got red. We've got that teal. I saw it says teal, deep teal green. And an even a deeper red, kind of. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, my goodness. Really? But we have a, see, that's a deeper, a different shade of red. Maybe it's the same red. I can't tell. No, it's a deeper red. And then we've got that lime green and then a deeper green. And then, oh, look, more red. But we have all that and we have the matching envelopes in the colors. So I'm not complaining. I'm a happy camper. There's 36. Okay, so 36 envelopes, 36 cards. I mean, hello. Not I cannot complain. So I got these and now I can fiddly fart with them. So we're going to add that to our ever growing. Oh, no, it goes on the outside. I'm sitting here trying to put it on the inside. That's not going to happen. Okay, what do we got here in this box? This box is birthday celebration sticker bundle. She had quite a bit on the in the birthday, the celebration. So I picked up everything except the rub-ons. I am just not a rub-on person, people. So I tend to steer clear of the rub-ons. But I did get, I think, pretty much all the other pieces from the birthday celebration because I don't have enough Anna Griffin birthday, you know, Guma Flashies. Although I do have a whole box kit of that, too that is waiting for me to do something with at some point before I die. If not, I'll make sure that, you know, there's an announcement made here for where the estate sale is going to be, guys, because it'll be a big one. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let Peanut Gallery know. <laughs> All right, so let's toss that over my shoulder. We'll put that in the trash. And, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was two of these container thingamajiggers. So, birthday celebration stickers and sentiments, Bert mini birthday stickers and sentiments so i wasn't paying attention which is like with all the money i spend guys i'm too broke to pay attention so let's just you know <laughs> go with that let's put these out so and what we have i'm not going to pull these all out but oh my gosh oh my gosh wow i'm telling you guys i paid a really good price for these so it's 80 dimensional stickers so we have all of those stickers and then we have all of those sentiments. Oh my gosh, I am so glad I got these. I should have bought more. Just to have them. Just to have, you know, these sentiments that you can pop on any card. It doesn't have to be just an Anna Griffin. I'm going to see there's some left. I may go back and make another order. But oh my gosh, this is awesome. That is, I mean, I love it. There's just a ton of wonderful sentiments in there. And, then, and no, wait, there's more because we have this box. This little container. And it has... Even more stickers and even more sentiments. Holy mackerel. But look at those pretty colors. I love those pastel colors. 
I mean, there's just a t all of these 3D stickers. And these all pop up. So we have happy birthday, birthday best, birthday wishes, with love on your birthday, happy birthday to you. These are awesome. Absolutely awesome. I am exact. Exa I'm just so excited. I'm like, woo, not that I'm ever not excited about the stuff I get, but because there you go. Because I'm crazy in that way. Okay, let's do this since it is upside down. Whoops, we'll do that first. And oh, look, it partially, but then the rest can be done with our handy dandy little toolie thing. Kind of, sort of, we hope. Oh my goodness. All right, let's come on, baby. Holy mackerel. And it's like, we just, this one is a bad one. There we go. Okay. Maybe it would just have to be, show extra care. I got to find, I, it would be perfect if I could find my craft, my craft knife. My craft knife has kind of gone AWOL and I've got to track it down. It has gone, it's not so much the craft knife. I got to replace a craft knife. It's the holster that was made by my former housemate. Fly! That I, leather, he tooled that leather and I love it. And it's kind of gone missing on me. Okay, so what do we got here? I didn't even look. This is Sending Sympathy. I definitely, you know, these are the cards that we don't like to have to make. But I don't have enough sentiment. So I wanted to cover that so that I could, I could just make, because I could take any Anna Griffin card and turn it into a sympathy card. Oh my gosh. So this is very cool. Look how cool. Oh, wow. Look how cool. I mean, just the way it's not in a little bag. They're all... That's really, really cool. But look at that. Sharing your sorrow, lifting you up in prayer, sending comfort, a note of encouragement, our deepest condolences. So two of each of the sheets praying for you. Sometimes it doesn't have to be somebody, you know, a passing, but sometimes people are going through times of need. And remember, it's what I say. It's about us being able to touch, you know, a life and, and get a message out when somebody needs to hear it. Thinking of your family during this time, you are in our thoughts and prayers. I mean, these are just peace be with you. These are just lovely. These are awesome. Should probably gotten more than I could have laid in a lifetime supply. With sincere sympathy, friend, a note of support. Keep the memories in your heart. That is, I mean, all of these are just wonderful. Sending our, you strength. You are loved. There you go. With sympathy. I mean, these are just awesome. These, it's almost like, I, I don't know what I expect, but I always expect something great. And then it's like, Anna gives me something greater than what I expected because this, I mean, and, and in this little contain the way it's, it's contained, I, I love it. This is one of the ones that I will not tear down to make into a card because how do you? Okay. So now moving on along, what do we have here? This is okay. So this is the birthday wishes embellishment kit. So let's get this opened up and see how quickly and efficiently I can do it. <clears throat> I know, right. This is me. We're talking about there we go. Once I get it in, it goes, it goes pretty well. So this, not the cut end, this is, so we have to now, let's see. There we go. I just got to try to kind of hit it in the middle and then go back and forth. There we go. And then this, oh, who knows, maybe now, so there's a nice gap here. Yep. This one came easier. All righty. So uh, let's pull this out. Toss your unbox over my shoulder. Ah. Holy mackerel. As if I never mind about ordering more birthday embellishments. I think I've got this covered. So these are birthday wishes embellishments. So it's a whole big bag of stuff. So we have got sentiments. Look at that. Happy birthday. And different ones. Banners and the rectangular ones and the circle ones that are awesome. We have got, holy macro, you can build a whole card in this kit with just the card fronts. But just card. Look at that. So we have a bunch of these. I'll, this one I'll open up. And we'll try to flip through them really quickly. Because I still have that. There's a whole box behind me. But these are, look at these with that little ribbon already on them. You put them on foam. And there you go. A beautiful, you know, put a, a hard base and a die cut out of the million of Anna Griffins that I have. That would be easy. And away you go. Happy birthday. A couple of flowers. You don't even need them. But look how beautiful these are. This it was a great purchase. This is a great pick. I am really glad that I picked these up because I don't have enough birthday cards. I need to make more. In fact, and I also need to get cracking and getting my Christmas cards done while I'm at it too. So we have these. These don't have little ribbons, interestingly enough, but still, they're still really pretty. And hello, we just add the ribbon. What the heck? So 
And uh, okay, so we have the, I mean, all of these, look how pretty. Wish big. Love it. Oh my gosh, I love that one. Okay, now we'll turn it back this way. And we have birthday wishes. These are all so pretty. Happy birthday. There's not one of them. They're just all, they're prettier and prettier and prettier than that. So we have all of those, all of these toppers that are total awesome sauce. So now let's get these back, hopefully, in the bag. Because, of course, I had to close the bag before, you know, in other words, uh, to put these away. So now that we got it open again, we're just going to slip those in real quickly. Right, 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 right? No. There we go. Come on, come on. Pretend I'm not on camera. There we go. All right, moving right along. What else have we got here? So we have a bunch of just uh, all kinds of ephemera stickers. I mean, I don't know if I want to pull them all out. We'll be here forever and a day if I keep pulling everything out. But what else have you guys got to do? You're sitting there crafting. I don't know what it's doing this. But all of these are, okay, they're flat ones. But it doesn't mean, again, that you can't pop them up. But look how, I mean, they're just beautiful. Look at that. I mean, these are all there's no wastage. They're all so, so pretty. So you can use these to decorate with those. And we have the flowers. Remember I was talking about the flowers? Well, the flowers are right there. But look at these. Oh, my gosh. And then the flourishes. My, my gosh, look how big that is. Look how awesome that is. All of these are just way too cool for school. I love it. These are just total awesome. Oops, let me go. I almost bent one there. Let me now grab these carefully. Okay, let me open the bag up again. And then let me try to grab these carefully and get them all inside their little baglet. Oh my goodness. Come on, Myra, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in me. Ah! All righty, there we go. And back they go where they belong. Shake it up a little bit so they. A little bit flatter. There we go. And then we have all of these flowers. No, I'm not pulling them out. But, I mean, you can, guys can tell. I mean, this is a big bag of flowers. And we've got gold stuff going along. And they're all, they're layered. So they're the Anna Griffin layered. The, oh. <clears throat> these are just so darn toot and cool. And, no, wait, there's more. We have gold foiled stuff. I mean, look at these. Okay, I'm gonna, I can't stand it. I want to look at them too. So let's take a peek at the gold foiled stuff, which is going to be awesome. Oops, we have a, and we have a butterfly that already wanted to fly away. Fly away, fly away. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. But we have all the flourishes. I'm going to put them here in the back because if I let them land like I just did on the mat, I'm never going to get them up. But look how pretty. I love these gold flourishes of hers. Look how cute that is. We could put a sentiment in the middle. Hello. <laughs> we have a teacup, I mean presents, and balloons, and more balloons, and champagne, champagne, and more butterflies, and oh, look at those bows, how pretty. The, or actually, do they go, this, they go this way? I'm not sure which way they go. Birthday cake, of course, and more beautiful flourishes. I, I love her flourishes. These things are just so awesome. And roses, and more flourishes, and oh look, more flourishes, and more flourishes, and even more flourishes. And we have the other butterfly that's friend from the one that already fell out, and we have champagne in a bucket, and we have another bottle of champagne, and then we have these beautiful roses, and another cake, and leaves. I mean, just a ton of ephemera to decorate the cards that you make. Or even a really pretty birthday layout. Think about that, guys. Really. I mean, I mean, whichever way you go. Or maybe we could use this to make a literally a birthday themed album. So that is something. Hey, you know what? I'm, I might have to think about that. Because Nan is going to be turning 95 in July. And we are planning on celebrating her birthday big. We've already told her her, her birthday prison is we're going to take her on a Disney cruise, a four-day Disney cruise. Because that's about, about, about right speed and length for her. But we also want to throw her a party. Because that 95 is big. And God, you know, we are blessed that we still have her with us. How did I manage to not get half of these in here? But, I mean, I, she is. She is such a blessing. And we are so fortunate. And we do not take for granted. Every day is precious. So we are going to, I mean, what can we buy her? I mean, there's most things that she can buy herself better. So, so it's more about 
just you know spending time and making memories that's i think so that's the evil plan beyond i'm putting this in the back what the heck um taking her on a cruise just making memories having a good time spending the time together with it okay all right let me turn around and grab more stuff out of the box oops hang on I've got these boxes and Oh my goodness, there's a stack of dies you would not believe. What did I buy it here? Holy mackerel. Ugh. Sorry, sorry. More. And we'll grab. My goodness, what is this? Okay, this I'm pretty sure. I think I know what it is. I hope I don't remember what it is. Okay, so we're going to grab these and then we're going to leave the dies for last. So this is all, this is all going to be ephemera stuff. Okay, so here we have the craft box embellishment refill so this is to one of the craft boxes that she offered previously i don't know even if i have it i would be surprised if i didn't but all it is is more embellishments and if you like to do anna griffin then you know if you know you never have enough embellishments in my personal opinion except that i do and then i buy more so i don't know what's wrong with me okay so let's open this up everything i love how they packs it so carefully fly and then they wrap it all up. It, that's just, you know, that's a real big attention to detail and no weight. There is more because then they wrap, you have it in a package, but then on top of that, the package comes wrapped in the plastic. There's just no way this stuff is arriving to you damaged. There's just, it's just, just impossible. Ah! All right, come here. Take these. Okay, so this again is the Craft Box Embellishment Refill. So it is even more. So this, and it's for, I think, all season. You can look at that. Look at these tiny, tiny. And this is for like the house. If you guys, I do, I have the, the kit from finishing school. That's the little tiny Christmas, the Christmas little houses. And we have all kinds of sentiments of thinking of you and sending cheer, cheerful wishes and happy so happy you are my friend. I mean, just really, really, really cool. And then, oh, look, we have Christmas, more Christmas banners. I love, and look, I mean, they're, they're always so beautiful, so tasteful, so elegant. It's why I love Anna's stuff. It is just timeless, is the word I want to use. And then we have a bunch of these little medallions that you can use to decorate. I mean, just really, these are really, really cool. So it's a, it's a, it's a mixture, a hodgepodge. Of the different kits, because here we've got flowers. Look at all of those flowers, and we've got and we have fern leaves, and yep, yeah, there are some butterflies. Let me see if I can get some of them to flutter out of the edge here, so you can see. But we've got some butterflies there. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff, and no wait, more sentiment. So thank you, and on this special day, I mean, this is just so you can make all kinds. I mean, you can make up a bunch of cards, and then until you need it, then you can go reach in and get the stickers that you need. I love that for my dear friend. These are all for a great guy. So we've got some mail stuff in here from the, because we, I have the card kits for, and I think the one I didn't have is the one, yep, I have it right here. It's Gentleman's Study. It's the only one of the guy ones I do not have. So we have that. And then look, more ephemera. Just really, I mean, very, this is very Art Deco. I think I, I know I have the kit that this kind of matches with. But these are all just extra pieces that coordinate with the kits if you have bought them i do i have a stack a ridiculous stack of those that i should actually use and i am you know i'm getting there slowly but surely it's like ooh, i put well now the the, the desk right here on my onto my right was cleared off but i made a mess of it because then i cleared this to be able to record so i moved it there but it gave me but it's given me space to work so you know slowly but surely it's it's happening in this crazy place Ooh, okay, that and we've been, you know, and just life and work, and I've been trying to decorate also for Christmas because we're doing Christmas huge again, making memories. Mom loves Christmas; it's like her holiday, and she got her Santa tree all decorated up until the point that she could. She can't get to the top because she has to climb up on something, and she, thank the Lord, has realized that she should not be climbing on anything at her age. So. I talked about it to her last night, so I was like, "Okay, mom, then we'll finish the top foot of the of the tree that's left." And then she, there's always this piece, a dove a piece that she puts at the top of the tree. But we got a light up. I got it. I got it at Target, 
and it projects to the ceiling and it's snowflakes. So we're going, I asked her, I go, is it okay if we add that behind the dove? And she was like, oh, absolutely. Because I bought one for our tree, which is in the family room. And she loved it. And it projects peace and joy on the ceiling. So, which is, which is perfect. And it's a bit of a rustic looking star because our decor in the family room is much more rustic. Okay. So here, oh, I know what this is. These are, I went ahead and splurged. And this is like a last minute addition to my order, which is black foam squares. Do I need to do this? No. I mean, it's not like I can't sit here and take a Sharpie to the sides of um, foam squares to use them. But if I don't have to, why the heck not? And they were on sale. So we have the bigger ones that are probably about a half an inch. We have these inky dinky tiny ones. And then we have the ones in the middle, which are the ones that probably get used the most. So... I am quite literally going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. Where is it? Already, I'm going to put this right here to my right. I have a little container, and I keep all kind, all my foam. So you see me reaching for the foam. That's where I'm reaching into. Whoa! Oh, no. No, no. Stop. And now I got one stuck. Ah! So these are now stuck together forever and ever. Amen. There we go. Oh, well. So be careful when you're putting these away, guys. But I'm going to keep three sheets out so that will immediately mean I use them. And then I'm going to add the rest of these to the foam, to the um, adhesive bin that has no room for them. I really need to get in here and organize. Now, what do we got here? The Wishing Well double-sided cardstock. Interestingly enough, uh, the finishing schools that she offered last year, the Wishing Well, I ended up not being able to. I wanted to sign up for the auto ship for both of them, all of them. And I didn't, but the wishing well and the fountain didn't excite me enough. And it doesn't mean that they were not beautiful because they were, but it was just something I knew, you know, you have to know yourself that I was not likely going to be making. So why buy something right? Other than because you want me to give away, then you know, I could see that. But so I didn't get it, but they offered the cardstock refill for it. And that's just more Anna Griffith. Fly! card stock that I can use for cards so I went ahead and picked it out because picked it up because it was really pretty background cat card stock just a de little delicate I mean small and perfect screams as far as I'm concerned background so yes I went ahead and got these so we have I mean so we have I mean pink Anna Griffin let me see I mean go this way there we go so we have pink and it's double-sided so everything is double-sided I'm gonna give up I'm just gonna do it the long way so we have the pink and then we have look at how pretty that lavender I mean it's almost like as if it were China and then so you can work it against each other coordinate it and then we have a solid pink and what's on the other side of the solid pink it's a solid lavender so there we go again coordinating so this is meant to coordinate with that kit but it allows you to die cut think about that I mean you can die cut the, you know, use this as the background and I mean, there's, it leaves it open to so many possibilities. So I am glad I got these. Look how pretty this is. And I think it's four sheets of every color that they have here and look how beautiful. Oh wait. So that one. Okay. So that's the brown. And then we get to this one. Look how beautiful that is with the hydrangeas and the rosebuds. And then we have that floral Ivy on the back absolutely the coordinates absolutely perfectly and these are not face up the way I wanted to be I wanted to be this way there we go that makes my OCD happier now and we have this which is a really cute I mean nothing to write home about I'll be honest with you but still sometimes you need that less than crazy Anna Griffin background so that you don't feel feel guilty about putting 14 layers of stuff and then she gives it this side oh Anna you're killing me here so, I mean, that to me is the front, but look how beautiful that is. And again, another simple little background that you don't mind covering up. And then she gives you this on the backside. And still, but it's perfect. That's what you want. You want backgrounds that you don't feel so guilty about um, covering. So that is perfect. This one, look how sweet and so perfect, so dainty that is. It's wallpaper. And then we have the green on the background. So this is, this is to me, is the front for me, for my personal taste. But just so cool. And then, whoops, 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 whoops. And then we just have the last color, which is a solid teal blue, which coordinates. Look at how perfect that coordinates. And the green. So that coordinates with the other. So the whole kit absolutely coordinates. 
So this was just, again, it was fairly inexpensive for Anna Griffin. I mean, I thought maybe pay 10, maybe 15, but it wasn't that, ex it was something that didn't make me think. I didn't blink about getting it. So I definitely got a package of this. We'll put the little card in. Who cares which direction it's going in? We'll set that aside here. And now let's open the big box. Not that there are other boxes that are, no, we have the dies. I think, and two more other boxes too. I take it back. So there's still, I, there was quite a bit in this order. And I am very happy that I got everything except for. So I'm going to still make the inquiry and I'll let you guys go how, how my endeavor is. I mean, otherwise then I wait till it's offered up on HSN. And I, that's how I did create this one was I waited for it to be offered on HSN and then put it on FlexPay. So there you go. Okay, let's pop this over. There we go. Fly! Yay! I don't know where it landed, but then I won't be able to walk out of here because it'll be a minefield of cardboard boxes. Thank God it's trash day tonight. It's trash day tomorrow, so we're all going to go into the recycling. All righty. So let's grab that. Go over. So this is, like I said, this is finishing school. This is the gentleman's study. It's the one I did not have that I've been wanting, and I've been stocking for it to come down in price. So it finally did. So obviously it comes with a, an idea sheet of cards, you know, samples, and what the heck, why not use the idea? Look how cool these are. So very, very cool. And let me, give me a second. I want to show you the front of this, but I want to cover up here. Hang on. There's a coupon code there that we who are finishing school, it would be unfair to show it to you. So, but look at that beautiful card there. And just, I mean, these are just beautiful. So they always, she always gives you an idea sheet. And then we have all of the gumaflachis that we need to make these cards. So we have the three D stickers in very masculine, very cool. One is bent. Oh my goodness. Let's fix that because we can. Let me at least get it straightened out. I can always take a my silicone tool and so let's get that unbent. And destroy the others in the process while we're trying to get the one. Really? I'm gonna have to empty the whole darn envelope just to get to that one. But, and nobody's perfect, you know, it, it, it is what it is, but how do I solve that problem? So, let me show you guys, but you have not seen me fix things like this. It's just take your um, silicone, if you have one of these, not silicone or whatever it is, it's get a silicone, whatever. Teflon, there's the word I'm looking for, the Teflon, your Teflon, and you just rub it. And look, can you tell, you can't even see anymore the crease. You just take, you know, you take care in doing this, but... I mean, there you go. And you can see it on the back, but who cares if you can see it on the back? And even then, I've made it pretty much disappear. But look at that. Can you see? I mean, you have to really look to see that crease. Crease fixed. So there you go, guys. When you get a crease, that's how you fix it. Rub it with your Teflon folder. That that, bowl, that tool. And everybody makes them. Mine happens to be tonic, I believe. But everybody makes one. If you don't have one, get one. All right? I cannot, that is one of my favorite tools because it's so versatile. It's not just a bone folder. Hello, it's a rescue item. And then we have, so going back to this, we have a bunch of just sentiments for this happy birthday, for a great guy, for my son. I would have to use that on my son-in-law, but close enough. Happy birthday. You are the best. I mean, just really, really great little sentiments to go with this. And then we have the card fronts that go with this kit. So, I mean, those are really, really, really cool. Look how nice these look, guys. These are perfect. Perfect backgrounds for, for guy cards. Very simple and you can fill it all in. It comes with the die set. I happen to, I think, already have this die set because I believe I bought it separately. I could be wrong and if I do, then guess what's gonna show up in a giveaway? And then, but here is, look at that beautiful embossing folder. Can you see that? Hopefully, in fact, well, no, we may not. So let me do this. We are going to pull out the embossing folder. One moment, please. And let me pull out the piece of paper I just put away a little while ago that was hanging here on the desk. So now hopefully you can see the pattern, but look how beautiful that is. That is really, really cool. That's a really beautiful embossing folder that would make a great background for these cards and but the thing is look at it covers the card we wouldn't use it with that paper that's for sure 
So I'm going to put it back in here and is there, what is in here? Because it looks like I swear there's like two dies in here. So let me pull them out and let me see what we got going on in here. Because it feels, I could be wrong. I could be crazy, but no, there's two dies in here. So we have this. Oh, look at that. And look at those bands. So all of this was part of the kit, guys. This is, even at the price it originally was at, was worth it just for the dies. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dies. Hello, we all know these kind of dies, A7s, what they, how, how much they are. And the weight, of course, we have the embossing folder too. Plus, we have all of the stuff, and I haven't shown it all to you yet, so hang on. Let me see if I can get this. There we go. Yep, I could. Yay, me. Yay for coordination. So we have that. Now we have, okay, the gold paper. I don't need to open that up. It's just great Anna Griffin gold paper. And then we have background paper. That I mean, This is meant to be die cut. This could be die cut. This could be embossed. But let's open up and see what our possibilities are, what the, what colors they are. Again, it'll all coordinate together. So we have that really cool red, almost fabric color, and it's and it's solid. So it's gonna be. Let me just go this way rather than fan. So we have this again, very simple and solid cream on the back, and then we have this kind of a fishnet, whatever, or, or um, yet yeah, netting, just basic netting, and that beautiful green. So far, I'm loving the solids. Almost more than the print. This is just like a cheesecloth, but again, with our solid gray on the back. And then we have this. I have no idea what kind of patterning it is, but that beautiful green. I am thus far really seriously liking almost the back more than the front, except for this one. This one's really cool. And then we have that beautiful bloom. So again, all of this, all these cards coordinate with everything in this kit. Let me get that slid in carefully, quickly, quickly, carefully, carefully, quickly. Wow. We have obviously envelopes and then we have additional stickers. So if you want to change one out, this is cool. Like I would, there would be nothing unless I was making a card for someone else because I don't have a brother. Steve doesn't have a brother. That is just, you know, but it's still really, really cool. So she thinks of everything in these. These kits are totally self-contained. Everything that you need is in it. Let me remember this one, this one here. I remember that, and then this, and then this. So, and and there you go. And then it has the beautiful box. So, I mean, and I know she's launching a new, another one. She, I already saw the previews for the upcoming craft day on January 5th, and there will be another one on January 20th. So for those of you, mark your calendars. HSN craft days will be, they'll have two of them. One on January 5th, which will be, I think it might be only her. Might be only Anna Griffith, because she'll be on only once. And then, I believe, and then January 30th, I believe, is the full-on, I think. I know it's the 30th, I just don't know what's going to be on. So we'll see as other people do their previews. Okay, let me reach back here and let's pull out these two boxes and then we'll get to the dies. So I've got here the Anna Griffin Luxury Matte Foil Birthday Wishes and Holiday Matte. So these are both card stocks that I got because I don't have enough Anna paper. <laughs> Right, you guys should see. I'm already at like okay. How am I gonna put this all away? That's my biggest problem right now with organizing is I'm running out of room. Although I do have some now. I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be divesting myself of my Fun Stampers Journey da, uh, stamps if for no other reason that they're gonna be hard to replace, hard to get reinkers, and it's just not something I can't. It's like I feel in good conscience that I should when I'm demoing stamps and stamping. I should use something that you guys can get. So, which is why I made the, the decision whee, to switch. And I switched to Simon Set. And I thought I bought all the inks and then found out when I was inventorying them that no, I did not. There's a few new colors that I missed when they were 30% off, of course. So this is the luxury matte foil. This is the holiday. So it is 36 slim line sheets. And 36, 8 by 6, or 6 by 8, whichever you want to go. But let me show you the colors. Because, you can, again, real. I think this was like $15, if I remember what I paid for these. It was really ridiculously inexpensive to my taking for what we know cardstock is and what we know Anna Griffin. Let's put it, but. 
So we have these, so it, it's a red, and look at that beautiful blue. And then we've got that a silver and then another red, a little bit not as, you know, more. Oh my gosh, it's almost like a pinkier red, for lack of a better. I love this one. This is my favorite red. And then we've got gold. And then we've got a really screaming Christmas green. So very cool. And you're going to have these same colors in the slimline size as well. So I went ahead because I don't think I'm going to have to buy colors other than certain, like I still don't have black. I'm waiting for her to put that black set on sale and then I'm going to buy matte black. I want to have it, but of her colors, I am pretty much stocked up on all the colors I want. And I just watch, I just patiently stock sales and wait, and that's when I buy her paper when I can get it for cheap. Er. <laughs> All right, let's open this. Let me get this. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let's not take my finger off. Let me see if I can just do this and maybe I'll be able to pop. Oh my gosh, this one is a tough one. There we go. I think, no, I didn't get it totally. Oh my goodness. That's, there we go. Now, hopefully I'll be able to pop it. I am not going to be able to pop it open. It's going to be difficult. There we go. And let's see if I can. There we go. At least that popped open kind of cooperatively. Okay. So we'll pull this out. We are going to unwrap it. Pop wrapping paper to the right. Box over the shoulder. Fly! Whee! And then let's open this up. Goodness gracious. So this one is the birthday wishes, of course, because if I bought all the other birthday embellishments, heck yes, I'm going to buy the paper that coordinates with everything, or foil at least. So we got, look at that pink, what a pretty color it is, more gold, more of that blue that I absolutely love. And then we've got a rose gold here, and we've got the Anna Griffin lavender, and then we have that limey, kind of limey green, but still very cool. So, and it's again, 36 six by eights and 36 slim lines. So not bad at all. And I'm positive I think I paid $15 for this package, which is a steal for Anna Griffin paper. All righty. All right, guys, last but not least, now let me grab the handful of dies. Oops. That I've got in here. Do you think I bought a few things? <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see. Let's go from the top. What is this? We have the envelope flap embossing folders. This I was excited about. So this allows us to make fancy envelopes for our fancy cards. I'm gonna I'm really I'm gonna hurt myself with these. Let me get smaller scissors and quit while I'm ahead. Out of the four thousand pairs of scissors that I have. Okay, so I think actually this opens from the top, so let me see if, since I've gotten that sliced open, if it'll, yep, there we go. That'll make it easy. So let's just shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. Yee! Okay, toss that over my, oh my gosh, guys, when I try to turn around and walk out of here, it's going to be hilarious. It'll be my, I'll have blockaded my own spot. But I really like these. These were also just excellent price. You guys, watch, because she'll do more sales. Always watch her sales. I'll keep you alerted to her sales. But these just emboss. So where's that piece of paper so you can see? These emboss envelope flaps. So we'll do it this way. But I mean, look how beautiful that is. Each one is a different pattern. I think there's three or four of them. Look how beautiful that is. And you just put your envelope in there, put the flap inside and the rest outside. And it makes a beautiful, look at that. Just the, all of them are just so cool. And this was very, very inexpensive. Look how elegant and gorgeous that is. So I was very excited to still be able to get these. And, of course, and so here you go. So you can kind of see, let's open this up so you can hopefully see, can you see that? Hopefully you can see the embossing, but look, I mean, it's just beautiful. It is so, so cool. I just love how that is done. Can you see? I mean, you can see better, but almost the same. But these will make, even just a plain envelope, suddenly, I can keep these handy whenever I make Anna McGriffin cards. Just go ahead. What she needs to do now is make them for slim lines. For the slim line. Then, then we're, we're cooking with gas. Oh, wait, but why am I putting it in the middle? I'm going to put it on the outside this way. 
and get these put back in. All right, maybe not now because I'll be here for three years trying to get those back in. We're just going to quit while we're ahead. We'll put that in. And actually, well, now I'll, I'll just, well, hold on a second. Let's just bite it and do it. Do it, Myra. Do it. We're going to close this the way it was. And we're going to grab our new Tim Holtz. Oh, my gosh. I used this earlier today on something and it was it was just awesome not having to I was I'm so used to having to um with my we are that was getting to be a little you know worn having to slice thing two or three times and it's just a luxury to just do it once and know it cut I'm in love with my Tim Holtz trimmer now what I'm gonna do is slide this in the bottom here now and we can now hopefully put these all the way. And this is what I do, guys. There's no reason. And it was funny. I saw Simon Hurley doing this himself. And I go, dude, old news. But it's perfect. He Simon Hurley does this as well. He uses just these sleeves. There is no reason, in, in, my, in my opinion, and I agree with him, in buying sleeves when the, you, your products come in sleeves already. Look at that. And now they're all protected and held together. Hello. All right, next we have the Festive Edges dies. So let's just do this because I always drive myself crazy trying to tear these open. Why? I don't know. Mind you, it's a very short trip. But look how pretty these are. I wanted to have whee, um, some more of these that you could use just for cards and not just the great big ones. So I saw these and I went ahead and picked them up. And they are supposedly, because they're festive, they are Christmas themed. I personally, between you, me, and the Cyberwall, and you know, and the rest of YouTube, that we can get away with these and use them on anything, quite frankly, because I think they're that beautiful. But these are the festive edge dies. But look how pretty. I mean that. I mean me personally, I don't see why not. Why we have to save them only for Christmas. I think they're super elegant, super pretty, hollow. So I picked these up because I have no self-control. We all know that, right? You guys know this. This is not, this should not be new news to you. All righty. Slide that in. Let me close it right. There we go. Next is the square concentric compendium dies. So I don't always get all of these. But for some reason, I felt compelled to get these. And when I open it, I'll remember why. But I think they were real. Oh, that's why. I wanted them for the circles, really, in all honesty. But we, they're really, there's no wastage there on either. But this is huge. This is bigger than you can put on a card. But it's excellent for a page. If, you know, just, I mean, it's gorgeous. And it has the circles, so you can do this as a mat. And then this as, you know, and, and cut out your picture. So I really like the possibilities with that. And here, let's, let me pull out the idea sheet that she always includes in all of these. But I was very pleased to get these. They, I think she had them also in slimline, but I didn't get those. I really didn't think I would use them, but I definitely popped for these. And I mean, look at that. I mean, and still look how beautiful if you make a square card. I mean, always know that if you're making a square card, it's going to cost you more in postage. But again, it's Anna Griffin. I'm of the opinion, if you're going to make an Anna Griffin card for somebody, why are you sweating how much it's going to cost you in postage? It's going to cost you no matter what. So if they're worth making the card for, they're worth spending the postage on it. But look at these beautiful, I mean, all of these, look how cool they are. Just simple set. It's layers and some flowers and a sentiment and away you go. I mean, this is way, way cool. So I am really, I'm excited. I am pleased that I got these and they will just go in into inventory for one and then later get pulled out whenever it is that I get around to using half the stuff I have. Okay, next is the Anna Griffin photo easel die cards. And this was from a prior create, I believe that I did not participate in. And if I have it, well, there you go. Now I have more. But because I have one that I've hardly, I haven't even opened that I bought it. Because you, when you when you per, do these, you can actually get the chance of buying prior ones for cheap. Wee! So this is, it creates the photo easel so you can make a photo easel card. 
or and I'm not just saying I don't think it's it's meant for a photo easel but that doesn't mean that you can't use a beautiful paper with a perfect background and insert that in there I mean think of graphic 45 that's the paper that comes into my head first um, Minte that has those gorgeous scenes think about that inserting that in here when you don't have a picture although again this is just awesome it's just really really cool so when I saw it again it was inexpensive so I bought it because I have no self-control but so you have also it's everything all of these pieces and the these are the stops I mean it's just beautiful it is just a very elegant elegant card frame and and then you have these little doohickeys that add to it so okay I'm gonna make sure this is facing out and that we have just one more we're done here guys I've been going on and on and on and on and on and on forever it's about time I'd be done so last but not least it is the border trim dies so these are all this is all my pickings guys from the sale from create nine so I highly recommend if you've not you saw my unboxing of create nine it is a an expensive I'm not gonna lie to you it's a pricey event and worth every penny if you can do it. If you want to do it and ping, you know, that chunk of change all at once, watch for HSN. I'll alert you. Um, and just do it on FlexPay. That's how I do it. I mean, I could if I wanted to. I could throw down at once, but why? I mean, you can do it in payments and they don't charge interest. So anyway, more border. So now I feel personally I have plenty of these. I do not feel I'm going to have to buy more in the future. But now I have a lot of options for cards when I'm trying to make, you know, when I grab out a card kit and you've seen me work those card kits up before. And now I have plenty of borders that I can do, you know, different, you know, different things with the cards. And these are all so elegant, so pretty. I mean, I, I, I love them all. And I mean, here are all of our possibilities. I mean, look at that. I mean, we can just do them, you know, either up and down or across. But there is no waste. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, they're just awesome. I am really, really jazzed. I really, really wanted this. So obviously, I got it. Because there you go. We're back to that, you know, no self-control thing. But that, I mean, but I mean, this is all I got. And I, I wasn't gonna say I didn't spend a couple of bucks on it. I did. But everything was well worth it. The only thing I did not, the one thing I wanted and I missed out in the rigmarole was the impression die set went out went out of stock. And that's okay. I'm not gonna die. Um, over that let's you know there's I have plenty of other stuff and and I'm going to still write about trying to get um, into crop at home for so guys that is it hopefully you enjoyed the haul as much as I did thank the, your lucky stars that you don't have to figure out where you're going to put this away or the fact that now I'm going to spend God knows how long entering all of this in um, Evernote. And I know I still owe you that video. So I'm going to try to get that done. This, hopefully soon. I'm going to try for this week actually because I really, really want to do it because I'm working on it all the time anyway. But the interesting thing about Evernote is that I do a lot of it while I'm on the phone with customers. I will flip over to another screen and I'll be talking immigration to them and inputting. Uh, so it helps. It's, it's in a bit in my, my, excuse me, in my case, cause I work from home, I'm able to multitask in that way. So anyway, on that note, I'm out of here, people. I've got stuff to do, like clean up the mess behind me. So I'm going to let you go. If you guys enjoyed having fun opening all this stuff with me, then please give me a thumbs up and drop me a note if you want to. And if you want to see more of this madness and see what did she buy next, then folks go ahead and um, subscribe and ring that bell because I will be more back with more of my ongoing madness. All right. And meanwhile, I'm going to let you go. So go out there and craft, make something beautiful and always remember that what you make and what you give brightens someone's day. So go out there and make a difference with your craft. All right, guys, because that's what we can do. We get to touch people with the things we make. And meanwhile, as always, don't ever forget, we are all a little mad here. So come on and craft the madness with me. Okay, and talk to you guys later. Bye! I missed the box. It was right behind me and I forgot it. And this is from HS Sense. We're going to add this one at the very end. Sorry about that, folks. You should know by now I never have my act together. 
But it is, from, this is an auto ship. I'm positive this is an auto ship from HSN because I think I saw the alert in my email. And I'm like, what did I get? Because some of these things are running so behind that I never know what's going to arrive when. But look, I love it how, you know, you get this box and it's that. Could they not have just stuck a label on this? I mean, really? Whoosh. All right, we're going to fly that, float that out of there. And I was just telling uh, Natasha, I just went out there and then I remember, um, as I walked out, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's that box. But I said, I need to talk to the neighbor because we're going to have to overflow recycling into hers. And we have permission to do that. I just saw, but they're, Natasha's the one's going to be picking up the little old ladies from their party. And she's picking up, I think, three of them. So it was mom and then Annalise and Joanne. So she will be picking them up. I go, hey, talk to Annalise about us snagging the recycling because we're going to need it. Okay, so this is Diamond Press. So this is definitely one of their auto ships. And let's see what it is. It is the Valentine's Nesting Slim Line. This will come in handy. There's, you always need a little bit more or cool little Valentine stuff. So, I mean, we're going to go straight to the sheet and I'll pull these off, but you can see all the, I mean, look how cool that is. I love that. Uh, this is just option three. So there's two. Oh my goodness. You know, it's like, oh my goodness. Maybe I should start with option one and then I'll show you everything. But look at this. Oh my, and look at that stencil. And I have all of that stenciling stuff, mediums that I found, refound and all that Simon Hurley stuff I just bought. Mm, I see some, oh, look at that. Look how simple and how pretty that is. So, oh my gosh. So we have, now, now we got to open this all up and I'll get it immediately into its little envelope and then I can get it into a box that I'm running rapidly. I think I swear I have to buy another. I, no, I think I have one that I haven't put together yet I bet because phew, this is getting crazy. So we have, these are all of the dyes and all of the elements, elements are separate. So it can mix and match and a cute little heart. And look at that arrow and our little banner. We always use the little extra banner. And as always, they give me another folder and I'm just gonna put that in where I have the other folders right now. And we have all of these stamps. We're just going to use that so you can see them better. Look at, oh my gosh, look at that. These are all, look at that Valentine. I love that scripty. This is perfect. Another happy Valentine's Day. Love. Wow. These are awesome. And then this is kind of hard to read, but it says, you make my heart smile. Uh, be mine. I mean, just so cool. And things are just falling off my desk here. My special Valentine. Wow, this is really, really, I'm not kidding you guys. And then that's because, you know, nobody tells me to say these things. I, and I'm always excited about everything I get. But, oh my gosh, this is really, really awesome. And then we have the stencils. And their stencils are awesome. And I want to be using more of this stuff, which I'm trying, you know, in my brain, I want to challenge myself. But look, I mean, we have... So be mine. We have, oh, look at those hearts. Can you see that? All those little cute little hearts. And of course, X's and hoes, hugs and kisses. And then sweet Valentine. So we have those. And no oh, wait, but we have those background. Oh my gosh, we gotta look at these background ones. So hold on a cotton picking second. And where's that piece of paper? Because it'll look better if I put a colored background behind it. Okay, let's just use a box. Let's just make it easy on ourselves for right now. We use this box. You can see, at least partially see it, but look at that. And this one's the one I wanted to show off. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that print. Oh my gosh, never mind. Because look at that. Look how pretty that is. Thinking about that with just ink. That would be so, so. Oh no, I have a better idea than that. I'm not telling you. And then we have hearts because we can always use hearts. That is just so, but those two first ones, like, pfft, they had me at those two. They couldn't have been, not included these and I'd have been a happy camper. And then we have that. Look how cool that is. So this is a really good one. This is a great auto ship. Thank you so much, Diamond Press. So I'm going to open up all these envelopes and do my little magic things. I'm not going to put it away. So, okay, guys, I'm letting you go. I already did my goodbyes, my hellos, my madness, and all that stuff. So get out of here and go make something beautiful. Okay, I'm going to let you guys later. I'll exit. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Take care. Love you. Bye.